And let us see the important property of the digromate ion. And the most important property of the digromate ion is its oxidizing agent. The, it, it, it works as an oxidizing agent. It works as an oxidizing agent because in this the chromium ion is present in plus 6 oxidation state. So therefore, the moment we provide an acidic medium, this dichromate ion's chromium gets reduced to plus 3 state. And this is where the balanced reaction we are having since it is 7 oxygen, 7 water is put to here and hydrogen is balanced like this by putting up 14 H plus and the electrons are balanced by putting up 6 electrons. So the n factor for this is 6 and uh, uh, the what we can find is that this is how it gets reduced to chromium plus 3. So it oxidizes many species like it oxidizes iodide to iodine ion like this. It oxidizes ferrous ions to ferric ions. It oxidizes stannous ion to stannic plus 4. It oxidizes H2S to, uh, I am putting up one electron here, two electron here. So it oxidizes H2S to sulfur giving you 2H plus and two electrons. So like this, these, this, these are uh, your oxidation half reactions can be combined with this, the reduction half and can both the reactions can be added to give you the exact overall reaction. But because of its this tendency to get reduced to chromium plus 3, it can oxidize all these species to the different oxidation um, like this. So this is how it works as a very good oxidizing agent. Potassium permanganate. Let us first see the preparation of potassium permanganate, which is KMnO4. KMnO4 is prepared from an ore of manganese called Pyrolocyte, the formula is MnO2. It is a black colored ore of manganese. And the preparation involves two steps. The uh, crushed and powdered ore is heated with alkali in presence of air. We can have in place of oxygen potassium nitrate or potassium chlorate which are oxidizing agents which releases oxygen. So when these are heated what we get is green colored potassium magnate and we get along with this small amount of water. So uh, it can be balanced like so it can be it can be balanced like this. So so two molecules of Parlocyte or MnO2 combined with 4 KOH in presence of oxygen gives you potassium magnate. This is potassium manganate and not permanganate. Remember, here manganese is in plus 6 oxidation state and not in plus 7, and along with water. Now, this potassium green color potassium magnate can be oxidized further in the second step by what? By treating it either in neutral or in acidic medium. So this MnO4 2 minus in acidic medium easily shows disproportionate reaction where it forms MnO4 minus and MnO2 along with water. So this MnO4 actually breaks down into uh, MnO4 disproportionate reaction from plus 6 it gets oxidized to plus 7 and then to uh, and also to plus 4 and this is how we can get the purple colored potassium permanganate. We can uh, industrially this second process is replaced by the uh, process called electrolysis. This MnO4 minus uh, 2 minus ion permanganate ion on electrolysis gives us MnO4 minus and electron. So this is how by electrolysis we can also get the same potassium permanganate. In the lab it is prepared in a very different manner. In the lab it is prepared by the oxidation of Mn plus 2 ion by peroxidisulfate ion by peroxidisulfate ion which uh, oxidizes it into uh, this Mn plus 2 ion to MnO4 minus and itself gets reduced to sulfate plus H plus ion. So this is how we get uh, 
this MnO Mn plus 2 and oxidized to this one in the lab method by peroxidisulfate ion where it itself gets reduced to sulfate and it oxidizes Mn plus 2 to MnO4 minus where manganese is in plus 7 state. The potassium permanganate, now let us see its properties. See, it's a dark purple colored crystalline solid, partially soluble in cold water but completely in hot water. Its structure is very much uh, similar to what we have in case of uh, what we have as uh, the structure of potassium chlorate. So, it is isostructural to your uh, chlorate, uh, potassium chlorate. So, KMnO4 min, uh, KMnO4 is which is having basically permanganate ion is having manganese sp3 hybridized like this and what we do is we can have a negative charge on this oxygen we represent this molecule in this form because this molecule shows resonance so it can be the negative charge can be on any one of these oxygen atoms now what happens is this permanganate ion since it is having manganese in the plus 7 oxidation state it's a very good, very strong oxidizing agent. It's a very strong oxidizing agent. Now, it in acidic medium, potassium permanganate changes to Mn plus 2 ion. How can we balance this? The 4 oxygen will make it 4 water here plus 8 H plus plus 5 electron. So, its N factor in acidic medium is 5 and it gets reduced to Mn plus 2 ions. Now in acidic medium it oxidizes, it oxidizes, let us see, ferrous ions to ferric ions like this, it oxidizes iodide ion to iodine like this, it oxidizes oxalate ion to carbon dioxide like this. It oxidizes, I can give you more examples. It oxidizes nitrite ion to nitrate ion. So, if we are taking potassium nitrite, we will be getting potassium nitrate. How can we balance this? One oxygen here, less, so one water plus 2 H plus plus 2 electrons, so it gets balanced. It oxidizes sulfite ion to sulfate like this again one oxygen less so water added here 2 H plus and 2 electrons it oxidizes chloride ion to chlorine gas so these are all its common reactions in which it is acting as an oxidizing agent and it is oxidizing all these species to their higher oxidation states and itself is getting reduced to plus 2 state in acidic medium Potassium permanganate is a very good oxidizing agent we have seen now just now like in case of acidic medium. But it's a very good oxidizing agent in neutral as well as in basic medium also. Yes, now we can show this by uh, you by this reaction. This the moment this KMnO4 is actually taken in water in aqueous medium, it gets broken down to or it forms MnO2 and forms OH minus ions. So what happens is it gets reduced to what? Uh, uh, changes to what MnO2 OH and it releases oxygen. We can balance this reaction, there is no point of writing because this oxygen comes and only in the molecular reaction forms. We can how we can show this? This MnO4 is getting changed into what if we balance we want to balance this in basic in neutral medium. It gets changed to MnO2. We can balance the oxygen by putting up what two water here. And since this this ha happening uh, is that it leads to the formation of the basic medium as I have told you. So the balancing will be done in the basic medium. So how we will be doing it? There are 4 oxygen, 2 oxygen, 2 water is added here, 4 hydrogen. So there are 4 OH minus, so 4 water here. Net what will happen is 2 water will come on this side. And and uh, then this, there is 1 oxygen and there are four, 1 negative charge, 4 negative charge. So there are 3 electrons. So what we write in overall reaction is. MnO4 minus accepts two water and three electrons and gets reduced to MnO2 plus four OH minus. So in aqueous medium, due to the release of this OH minus ions, it makes the medium basic, and it is accepting electrons. So it's a good oxidizing agent. 
its n factor in neutral medium is 3. And that is why it is actually is used as a germicidal and fungicidal and used to usually purify water. Then let us see its reaction in basic medium. In basic medium, the moment we treat this MnO4 minus with basic medium, it again gets reduced to MnO2. Now how we will balance this? Again the reaction remains the same. This, uh, there are 4 oxygen, 2 oxygen, so how we will balance it? We will put 2 wa uh, water here plus 4 OH minus and we will add 4 water here. So overall reaction remains the same. We will balance it by putting up 3 electrons. So even in basic medium, what we find is the reaction is exactly the same. So this time it is basic medium. So in basic medium also its n factor is 3 and it is actually what forming an OH and this is how it is reacting and getting reduced to MnO2. Now therefore in basic as well as a neutral medium it can act as an oxidizing agent and it oxidizes the different species into the different uh, uh, to their still more higher oxidation states. Like I can give you I can show the examples the overall reaction will remain the same like this one I can write it again that whether it is a neutral or a basic medium MnO4 minus accepts to water 3 electrons gets reduced to MnO2 along with 4 OH minus ions. Now it oxidizes iodide ion to not to iodine like what, what this happens in case of acidic medium but in case of neutral and basic medium it oxidizes iodine to iodate ion IO3 minus. How will you balance this? There are 3 oxygen and oxygen here. So we'll put 3 water here and 6 OH minus ions plus along with this 6 water. How to balance the charges? There are 7, there are 1, so there are 6 electrons here on this side. So balancing is done again in the basic medium because this oxidation reaction is done in the basic medium. Even in neutral medium, we know that KMnO4 uh, forms um, uh, OH minus ions, so it makes the medium basic. So that's where the balancing is done in basic medium and iodide is, uh, iodide is oxidized to iodate and like this. So we can add the two half reactions and we can get the overall reaction. Similarly, it oxidizes if we take thiosulfate ion to sulfate ion. Now in this there are two sulfur, we can make it twice. Now we have eight oxygen, yeah, there are three oxygen, so five water plus 10 then over minus ions plus 10 water and here we have 2 minus, here we have 4, 12 minus, here we have 4 minus, so it's 8 electrons. So this is how it gets oxidized. Similarly, it oxidizes Mn plus 2 to MnO2, from plus 2 to plus 4. How to balance this one? This one? There are 2 water added to make balance oxygen, then 4 OH minus plus 4 water and we'll balance it by putting up two electrons there, two minus, two minus. So this is how it oxidizes iodide to, uh, iodide, iodide to iodate, thiosulfate to sulfate, and Mn plus two to MnO2. So these are its reactions which show that it can act as a good oxidizing agent even in neutral as well as in basic medium.